with Cinema Lovers Incorporated back at you again with a brand new video. Back at you again with a brand new video. Mm. God, I'm such an idiot. I'm still recovering from a sickness I had two days ago. Uh, I had one yesterday and the day before. I was very sick and that prevented me from not making a skit on my main channel, Spoonful For You. That's why I haven't been uploading as much as I usually do. But nevertheless, let's get right into the video. Today I'm talking about the top overrated Walking Dead seasons. How many seasons are overrated? Four. So the top four overrated seasons. Let's talk first about number four. So number four coming in there has to be season eight of The Walking Dead. Now personally, I hate this season with a passion. This season is really, really bad. It's a little bit better than season seven, but a, a little bit better. This season really ruined Carl's story arc. It just butchered Negan, and it was just overall a boring attempt at having all-out war. You can clearly tell that the, the producers and AMC did not have a budget this time. And I remember all these fans um, at the start of the season, they're like, season eight is all out war. Season eight is all out war. Oh my gosh. And it blew. And then near the end of season eight, people said, the show's improving. The show's improving. Oh my God, the show's improving. And it sucked. The finale was one of the worst episodes ever. Um, Carl, for some reason, now likes the Saviors, even though in Season 7 he murdered tons of them. Now he likes them. He just gets bit helping this random person because this guy has a mother. Negan has Negan had a mother. What if Negan's mother said something inspirational to Negan? Would he spare Negan's life? I don't think so. The governor had a mother. Every single person has a mother. And most mothers are inspirational to their children. They inspire them to do better, you know? They teach them things. So that really doesn't make any sense. Why would Carl trust Sadiq? It's just bad writing. Um, and then Negan, for some reason, at the end of season eight, he actually reveals shocking truth to Rick. They're trying to de, uh, they're trying to make uh, Negan this, this person, this drama person. Oh, he's the victim. Oh, Negan's not bad. It's just the people. Oh, Negan's innocent because in season eight, he reveals to Rick that he didn't kill Rick because his son was there, which makes, you know, at the lineup, that makes absolutely no sense because there were families, not just Rick and Carl, Maggie and Glenn. He clearly saw that Maggie was pregnant. Well, he you know, assumed that she was pregnant. And he, he, he knew that Glenn was Maggie's husband. He knew, well, he might have known that Abraham and Sasha were together or Rosita and Abraham used to be together. It's pathetic. It really is. And it's just a poor excuse and poor writing to try to make Negan look like he's a victim in this world when no, he's not. He killed those people in cold blood. He didn't give a crap. But now they're trying to change what they already wrote and said that, Negan, you didn't mean to really want to kill him. It's horrible. Season 8 is really bad. Let's not forget about the atrocious writing, the boring bottle episodes, the terrible acting, and the terrible action scenes. This comes in at number 4 because it is still hated by people, but there's a small fraction of fanboys out there that love Season 8, and I mean love it. They said Season 8 was awesome, all out war, but... Not a lot. So that's why I have season eight at number four. It was bad. It was a train wreck. It comes on in at number four. Coming in at number three is season six. Now, season six, I remember this season was very divided. Now, me personally, I thought it was fun with the zombies, but everything else was a train wreck. But people like Trev Chan and all these other fanboys thought season six was one of the best seasons. And I, to this day, do not know why. Season six, season six had so many cliffhangers and bottle episodes and the writing was poor. For example, they ruined Glenn's character. I just felt like bringing him back was really, it really hurt his character because you don't even really care for Glenn anymore. He just feels more like a ghost in the background. Season six is just awful where it just hurts these characters so much. Michonne and Rick get together one episode after Jesse dies. It's just an atrocious train wreck of a season. And the only thing I enjoyed was the zombies. The rest of the season 
was awful, but you have these fans that say season six was one of the best, just like season five and three. Ooh, it's the best, it's the best season. Ooh, it's the best season. Um, It's not, guys, it is a bad season, okay? It's okay uh, when it comes to the action, but everything else, the character moments, the character choices, the writing, the dialogue is just bad. It's plain and simple bad. Let's talk about number two. And of course, the number two most overrated season of The Walking Dead has to be season three. Now, I like season three. I think season three is fun when you have nothing to do. When you want to pop some popcorn and just turn on some television at night and want to have some action-packed moments in your night, I turn to season three. You know, I love David Morrissey. He's a great actor. He has a great performance in season three. I really like the prison. I like the action. Glenn Mazzara is really good when it comes to the action. But the character moments and the second half of season three just really goes down the, the poop. You know, the pooper. Uh, season three, the second half, they actually ran out of ideas. And it is clearly shown. It just feels like everything just becomes too much of a mess. It starts out amazing and then goes downward. I think they just spent too much time on them building up to this battle with the governor and it just became a little bit repetitive and stale. So season three near the end became pretty meh. But I would take season three, I would take season three any day over season, you know, four through eight. Um, I would. I think it's fun. I think the action's fun, and it kind of regains some of that, you know, that 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 feeling that you get when you're watching season one and two. It it actually has that feeling in a couple scenes. So that's actually what I really enjoy about season three. Um, and the performances too. It, it was it was the last season where I actually liked Daryl. After that, I hated this guy. I despised him. So season three. Um, you could tell the budget was very, very low in this season. The colors were very grainy and washed out and uh, dull looking. Everything was dull looking. So that was one of the problems. But season three is very overrated. People say it is one of the most action-packed, amazing seasons ever. Trev, is that's his favorite season because it had some fun moments in it. Um, I don't understand why it was his favorite season. It, it's, it's his opinion but it's not the best season, Trev. It isn't. It has a lot of issues um, that make it bad and don't make it good. So you guys know what number one is. That was number two. You guys know what number one is. We all know what number one is. Say it with me, season five. This season is the most overrated season in The Walking Dead history. This season is like God. It gets so much praise from everyone. Everyone either loves this season or said this season was decent or good. Now, I will agree. I do like the Hunter arc. I thought the Hunter arc was great, but after they killed them off, the show just went down, down, down. The hospital storyline is easily one of the worst arcs in the Walking Dead franchise. It is so bad. And when they get to Aaron, Aaron speaks like an alien. And then Rick wants to kill everyone in Alexandria because they're a little bit different than him. It's just a mess. And the second half of season five was really weird and just felt off. It didn't feel, you know, I didn't want to see my characters do this. I didn't want to see Rick be cold. We saw him be cold in season five, the first half, but I think I wanted him to, I wanted his humanity side to come out and he was becoming too much of a jerk, especially Carol. And this time in The Walking Dead, at this time, uh, season five, I hated Carol. She was so mean towards everyone. She was cold and, you know, it's understandable because of all the stuff she went through, but it was just too much. I couldn't handle it. All the stuff with Rick fighting Pete, all of that, um, Jesse. It just felt like these characters were waste, wasteable characters because in season six, they were zombie chow. In season five, these characters just feel like they're there. And it just doesn't work in my opinion. And not everyone loves season five and I don't. I don't like the writing. I don't like the characters. I don't like the moments. 
there's only one little part of season five that I actually enjoy, and that's the beginning, the Hunter arc. I thought it was decent. It was pretty scary. Other than that, season five is probably one of my least favorite seasons. I hate season five. I don't like season five. And these fanboys will kill you if they talk about their godly season five. But personally, I don't like it. I don't know what they're talking about. So I hope you enjoyed my top four overrated seasons. Leave a like down below, comment down below. I hope you enjoyed. And I'm going to soon, I might make a video about the underrated seasons. So that's going to be fun. And yeah, I, I love The Walking Dead. I love The Walking Dead in the older days. So it was fun making this video. I haven't made a Walking Dead video in a long time. So leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, do whatever the heck you want to do, and goodbye. Bye, everyone.